Uh, even with his age and weight, which doctors have described as risk factors, statistically, President Trump's odds of recovering from COVID-19 with just mild illness are good. But a Marshfield man knows firsthand what it feels like when mild symptoms become serious. WBZ Cheryl Fiandaka has his story. Certainly, I hope he doesn't have it as bad as I did. Back in April, doctors and nurses lined the halls at South Shore Hospital, cheering for Curtis Aikens. He was one of the first in our area to recover from a serious case of COVID-19. Well, it was very scary not being able to breathe, and at, this was early on, and uh, you know, you just heard the number of deaths that were piling up. Like President Trump, Curtis says his illness started with mild symptoms. The uh, first thing I felt was um, fatigue, very tired, and then very quickly um, some difficulty breathing, which the, the, the difficulty just increased rapidly uh, overnight. Living alone with Pebbles and Finn, Curtis had few contacts when he was sick. But infectious disease specialists say contact tracing for the president will be a big job. And he is obviously around a lot of people. He's not always wearing a mask. According to Sachs, people are most contagious a few days before showing symptoms. President Trump visited his New Jersey golf club yesterday and went to a fundraiser and a rally in Minnesota on Wednesday. Well, anybody he's been in a room with, especially in a room for more than 15 minutes at a time when people are not wearing masks, is potentially exposed. Curtis, whose recovery included weeks on oxygen at home, hopes the president recovers quickly. Certainly hope the president and uh, the first lady don't have the symptoms too badly, you know. You don't want to wish that on anybody. Curtis still has some lingering breathing issues, but doctors say he will eventually fully recover. In the meantime, he's donating his plasma to the Red Cross. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.